Hi again, in this video I'll show you how to have full control over the sound replacement of the snare drum. Okay, so sound replacement or sound reinforcement of the snare drum. The snare is a drum with a lot of articulations. Although Trigger 2 is a great tool, it sometimes needs some help. You could of course automate all the parameters in Trigger 2, but it takes up a lot of time and it makes revisions hard. So this technique I'm about to show you is all about the sound replacement highway. We are creating lanes for the different velocities and articulations. So here we have a well recorded drum session with a natural snare. So you can hear it has a lot of dynamics. Some of the dynamics I'd like to keep and some of the dynamics I'd like to change. So how do we do that? The first thing is I'll make a copy of the snare track and name that snare hard. And I'll put trigger 2 on that track. Then I'll copy down the snare top mic. Let's see what trigger 2 can do on its own. You can already see that it's not picking up all the hits. Let's work on that. So missing two hits. But if I adjust the detail and sensitivity enough to pick up all the snare hits, I'll also pick up the tom hits. But I don't want to automate all of that stuff. So first let's adjust all the hard hits. Okay, so that's the level I want to trigger. And now we need to go into the curves. First I'll link all the curves. And I want all the hard hits to be super hard so I turned off all the dynamics. And raise the velocity curve and select only the top velocity hits. Okay, so now we need more lanes. We have a snare medium lane, snare soft lane, and snare real lane. On the real lane, I'll try to copy all of the original dynamics and articulations. Then we have a snare custom lane if you need that to do some custom work. We also have a snare special lane. You could also have snare rim shot lanes to have rim shots on selected hits. The first thing I'll do is that I'll drag down the crescendo to the snare reel track. And I'll remove it from the snare hard lane. And then you'll copy down the trigger 2 settings from the hard hits and start adjusting. As I said, I'd like 100% dynamics and all natural stuff on this one. And I need to adjust the trigger settings. So now it's picking up all the hits and it's copying everything 100%. Let's listen to what we got. Okay, so this part is great, but here we got a new problem. It's on the hard lane and it's not picking up all the hits. I could of course drag this down to 100% and that might be good, but I'll show you something to give you even further control. Okay, so we know there are some tom hits in here and a lot of snare hits. We'll just pick out the snare hits. So I marked where the tom hits are and I'll remove them.
Let's take these two hits and put them on the medium lane. And these two on the soft lane. This one on the soft lane, this one on the soft lane, this one on the soft lane. This one should be on the hard lane. And these two, I could separate them, have one on the soft and one on the medium. You also need to copy down the trigger two settings from one of the other tracks. We go in here and look at the medium track. Here I'll choose zero dynamics and default velocity. This is medium hit, so I try to choose the medium velocity files. Let's see what we got. Okay, so this one is not picking up, so I need to adjust it. Okay, cool. Then we need to take a look at the soft lane. These hits. It sounds good, but let's restrain them. Zero, dynamics, and let us control which level of velocity we'll use. Okay, cool, but it's very loud. This is why you use the lane system. Now we have pinpointed exactly what samples to use and which range they are, but they are loud. So what we can do now is simply turn down the volume on the lane. Sounds better. You could still work on what type of samples you'd like to use. but I like it somewhere around there. Okay, let's listen to what we got. So we take it a new spot where we need to work. Let's do the same thing, let's mark the toms. And now we'll simply remove the tom hits. And start to select where we want our hits to be. Okay, let's move these two down to the soft lane. Let's put this one on the medium lane, this one on the soft lane, this one on the medium lane, these two on the soft lane, this one on the medium lane. And let's listen. Okay, not bad. You can refine it even further. Let's try and move these two down to the snare real lane. Okay, yeah, that sounds good as well. So you just need to experiment on where to place the different hits. This way it's easy to change something down the line. And also you can adjust the level on each lane and keep refining it. Now let's copy the snare hard lane. And call that snare rim shot. Open up the trigger on that lane. You can see here on the green steel snare, we have chosen the loose tuning. Let's go and change it to loose rim shot on this one. You could do it this way or you could just open the preset. But since I've adjusted the curve settings, I'd like to do it this way. Now let's drag down this section to the rim shot section. So now you have control over where to put the rim shots. Let's take a listen.
Okay, great. Let's just make this section work. Okay, so here we have a double trigger somewhere. Let's fix it. There you can see it. Just open up this retrigger. Great. Now let's take a look at the snare special lane. Listen to this. You can see those are triggering, but only the two. Let's move the last one down to the snare special lane have a clipper on it and do some effects on it to make it pop so now you have a bigger impact on that specific hit let's do the same over here drag it down to the special lane So we have a rim shot on that lane. We have a clipper and extra reverb. You can also see if you find some hits here that you like to have on the special lane to give the song more impact. Maybe this last one, let's drag it down and listen. Okay, I'd like this one to be softer. Cool. And let's listen to the last part. I really like the effect there when it hits hard. Okay, so to recap this, you should make as many lanes as you need. Maybe you just need two lanes. It depends on the material you have to work on. Just be creative with this technique and create a lane whenever you need it. One more thing you could do when you're satisfied with where the hits are and how they hit, you could simply copy all of these tracks you made. Let's duplicate them. You bust the first tracks you made to a bus called Snare Close. Then you take the copies and you bust them to a new bus, which you can call Snare Rooms. Then you can go in here to each trigger. It takes some time, but it's worth it. Then you can just mute all the room mics on each one of these triggers. Then you go into the copies and you mute all the close mics on these triggers. Then you'll end up with a buzz with all the close mics and a buzz with all the room mics. So you can adjust and automate those further. If you'd like more room on a section or less room on a section, it's really easy to do.